All right, today we're going to learn how to draw a penguin. This is a very simple, cartoony type penguin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw... I'm going to... I have to figure out about how, how large I want him to be. So I want him to be about this big on the page. So we're going to draw a line at the bottom. And then we're going to draw a line that goes up. And loops around like that and then we're going to draw another one that starts about here that goes up and loops around like that and then we're going to go up here and let's put in his beak so it's a loop that way and then a loop down and then he has nostrils so he can breathe. You've got to make sure he can breathe. And then I'm going to put in one eye here, which is a circle. He's going to have big eyes. Draw circles for his eyes. His eyeballs. <laughs> he's, got to, he's got to be able to see, right? So I'm doing these loops because I'm going to co color this a blue color. And um, this right here is going to be the black part. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in. All right. And then let's say he has a little bit of hair or fur right off the top there. And then he has, we're going to put in his wings. So we've got to figure out about where does his wing start. Maybe about right here. So we're going to pull a wing down and back up and we're doing the same thing on this side down and back up and then let's see we are going to he's got to have feet just give him very simple feet one goes there and one goes there two loops at the bottom for his feet very simple super simple all right so basically that's our our guy so we've already done that we're just going to put a smile on his beak <laughs> like that <laughs> okay so i think what i want to do is go in here and make his eyes blue just so we have another color on here because he is black and white so we're going to go in and color him black and he's going to have a beak. Color his beak a um, an orange. And I'm going to match his feet orange. Like that. And then we're going to go in and color him. Because he's black, right? He's black and white. Don't miss another video. Subscribe today. Be really careful when you're going around his eyes to make sure that he still has white eyes. I love penguins. Penguins are so much fun. They're so fun to watch. I don't know if you've been to the zoo and watched the penguins. They are so fun to watch. So there's our penguin, but it would be fun to do something else. Like he needs to be standing on something or... Alright, I think it would be fun to have maybe put some earmuffs on him. So I'm getting my red marker and I'm gonna do a round circle on one side of his head like that and then fill it in. And 
And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing and fill it in. Oh, this is, needs to be a little bit larger so they kind of they look like they're the same size. Earmuffs usually are, right? And then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to do a line from here to there to show that they're connected like that. And it might, might need to be a little bit thicker than just one line. So I'm going to put a another line next to it. And then I thought it would be good for us to put him where he's standing on something. So I'm going to have him standing on an iceberg. And so and the way you do an iceberg, I'm going to have it where it's going to go around like this. It's going to kind of go off the page. Um, so we're just going to do a curvy line that goes around like that and goes off the page. And then we're going to make it look like it's three-dimensional where this is water and this is the iceberg. So the way you do that is you're going to do another line that follows around the line that you just drew. So you're going back around and go slow enough that you're following back around. If some of it's thicker or thinner, it's okay. Then what we're going to do is go in and you're going to create lines that look like this. So it looks like it's three-dimensional. We're also going to go back and we're going to do some shading with a gray. And it just looks like lines right now, but what we're going to do is go in with a gray marker I don't know where my big gray markers are. Let's see if that's a good. Nope, that's a green. So what I usually do is when I'm not, I don't really know what kind of color I want. I have a scribble page that I test stuff on just to see if that's the color I want. So, um, so that gray is a good gray. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put in some shading. Okay, so if if the, if he's here and the light's coming from the top, the shading's going to be right underneath here, like that. Because that's the shadow. All right, and then this is going to be water. So let's go in here and find a good color for water. I think this is a good color for water. You know, and the other thing you can do is if you have markers that have, or if you're doing color pencils, you can put more than one color in your water. So I'm using these markers that are, they have, they blend really well. So let's see if I can find another, another color that I could put in there to kind of blend. I got to find one that's light enough that would work. This is a little darker than I was thinking, but see how I can go in and you can do, you can create, your water can be more than just one solid color. Kind of gives it some variety. I don't know if you've ever looked, I don't know if you've ever looked, you know, at water. The deeper it gets, the darker it gets. The closer to the shore, the lighter it gets. But he's on an iceberg, right? So 
he's floating around on an iceberg. So, let's see. What else can we do to him? I think I want to do some shading in here. And in order to do that, maybe I need to get a darker red. If I can find a darker red. So what I'm going to do is go in. I have this gray. Um, I'm thinking maybe I could go in with gray and put in some shading. A little bit of shading. Not a lot. But just to kind of show that this is a round object. Like that. I don't know that you can see very well with it. Maybe if I go back with my red, this is like a... Maybe that's what I need to do. I don't know. I think I'm going to show that he has feet. All right. Well, I think he's about done. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Isn't he the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Anyway, this is how you draw a penguin. Isn't he adorable? I hope you enjoyed the art lesson. Come back and see me.